We're going to take a look at Sunshine of Your Love as Eric Clapton plays it acoustically these days. And we're going to start with the famous riff that kicks off, of course, like this. Okay, we're starting off with a shape. Do you know F major 7 all the way down at this end of the neck? F major 7 being F without the finger lying down. So these three fingers like this. Bring that shape all the way up until the ring finger is at the 12th fret. So you're on 12, 11, and 10 of the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings. And we're going to play down strums coming from the 4th string. So we need to be quite precise with our picking hand. And to get that, I'm not swinging freely from the forearm here. I've got my right hand anchored at this sort of part of the hand, just coming across from the bridge, so that I can pick with some precision. I'm going to come down from the 4th string. I'm definitely going to get 4 and 3. And if I can get two as well, that's even better. And this finger, the index finger of my left hand, is lying down just enough that the first string is dead. So if I get that by accident, it's not going to ring. And we're going to play four down strums. No, well, yes, four down strums. The first two in this shape. The third one in this shape, two frets lower, the same shape. And one back up in the original position. Clapton actually slides into that first shape from two frets below. If you can do that, so much the better. Okay, once we've played that four strum lick, we're going to come down the fifth string. Twelfth fret, eleventh fret, tenth fret. And then we're going to switch finger positions. The ring finger of your left hand comes to the sixth string, tenth fret. Play that, followed by the fifth string, eighth fret and back to the 6th string, 10th fret again. If you can give the 5th string, 8th fret a little nudgy bend, that'll sound even more bluesy, but not essential. Here's that riff again, here with the count. One, 